everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review the second episode of Katakai Jozu no Takagi-san, or whatever that translates into English. So, with this episode, we have our three little stories, of course, and, <laughs> oh my goodness, they were, or was there four? There was actually four. Was there? Yeah, there was four. Anyway, um, so with this episode, we have, um, Takagi, of course, and, um, Nishikata going through the usual stuff. Um, she teases him, he blushes, etc. But the way it went about, especially the last one, I really enjoyed the last one. But, um, the calligraphy one was really interesting because, you know, he was trying to write down, like, you know, <laughs> um, getting her to stop basically what she's been doing to him. And that goes as well as you think it would. It doesn't. Um, <laughs> but it's just like, these two characters are so freaking cute. And I'm just like, man, how do they get away with talking in class this much? I'm just sitting here watching this. I'm like, the teachers are obviously teaching while they're, you know, talking back and forth. They're not even whispering. They're like legit talking. And I'm like, is it because they're in the back of the class or is this just because reasons? Because this is how the anime works. It, it's really weird to me. I'm just like, like if I talked in school, like while the teacher was teaching, you know, they'd be like, shut up and, you know, listen to my lecture and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, and stuff like that. So it's just like... It, it's weird, but anyway, so the calligraphy one was really nice. I also like how they add in some stories with those three random girls that I don't know the names of. And this one with them uh, was about them changing uh, uniforms from the winter uniform to the summer or spring one, whatever. And <laughs> it was funny because one girl changed to the short sleeved one and then her three friends or two, whatever, uh, did it. And then like they switched and like she changed. It, it was hilarious. I just thought that was really funny. Like I called it too that she was going to change back to the long sleeve one. And it, that I just laughed because I called it. I was like, I knew that was going to happen. That was so obvious. But anyway, so with everything else though, we had the English class one, which was interesting enough. Um, I was kind of hoping there'd be more English thrown in there because I was like, oh, they're in English class. Is it going to be? a bunch of English during this and there wasn't really but um <laughs> it was pretty funny too uh him trying to I just like oh my gosh dude you're never gonna get her to be embarrassed and it's interesting that she teases him so much because when it came down to it she's like like back with the calligraphy thing you know she was like I like your handwriting and everything like I'm like oh, you're so sweet when you wanted me girl Takagi it's just like you get uh, it's kind of annoying because it's like, they're middle schoolers, obviously they're not going to get in a romantic relationship, but it's just like, I want them to because they're so cute, and I'm just like, ah! <laughs> and also, he's kind of like, like, a uh, Nishikata, there's no way he'd, like, he, that would be the ultimate embarrassment, I feel like, for him, you know, if she actually told him legitimately that she liked him, honestly, I think that would be her best move yet. Like, if she actually does that, I'm gonna be like, yes, because he would be so embarrassed. But then in turn, if he actually does start falling for her, that would be her biggest embarrassment, kind of, is him saying it back. That would be a good ending for this series, I feel like. Like, that would be really cute and everything. But the chances of that happening are almost zero. So, yeah. But with the pool story, though, that one was cute, too. I was like, oh, boy. And so, basically, you know, they're both sitting out from swimming when they first get to go swimming at school. And he keeps racking his brain, like, oh, why is she not swimming? Because he can't swim because he has an energy on his hand. And then he's like, wait, is she on her period? Oh, my gosh, I can't tell her that. It'd be so embarrassing. And then, um... When he does, you know, she's like, nope, you're wrong. And then um, he's like, wait, is it because of her small chest? Is that why she, like, uh, nervous about it or whatever? <laughs> of course it wasn't. She just, like, wanted to see him make a funny face or whatever to tease him. And I'm like, and she could swim all along, and that was fine. She's like, we can, you know, swim together next time or whatever. And just being cute and sweet. And I'm just like, oh, man. Like, she meant that too. But <laughs> um, it was really cute and everything, and I like this show. So what do you guys think of this episode? What do you think's going to happen next? And I'll see you guys. And whatever I view next. Bye!